I want to welcome uh, to the program, uh, Basha Going is here from the Adi Shesha uh, Yoga Zones, director of the Yoga Zone. How are you? I'm very well. Thank very you. good, very good. Uh, now, is yoga something you do early in the morning, like this early? Uh, not right now, not quite. No? <laughs> A little later in the morning, maybe. <laughs> Listen, you guys, uh, a week from uh, today, have a very special event coming up, um, yes. uh, and it's for a pretty good reason. Tell me about what, what you guys are up to. Well, it's part of the series of fundraise uh, efforts to uh, get the money for the transplant of the kidney for a boy 17 years old that lives in Nepal. Mm -hmm. He comes from a very poor family right? and um, is basically dying. So he approached the orphanage, Nepal Orphan Home, which our studio is associated with. Oh, okay. They were not able to help him because they cannot pour that kind of money to one child. They have already 150 of their own. Right. And because I will be going to Nepal soon, I always, whenever I travel, I look around to see how I can uh, help and what I can contribute to the mm -hmm. place I'm going to. So I ask uh, the founder of the orphanage, uh, Michael Hess, what can I do? What do you need? Maybe I can bring something. Mm -hmm. So they have a very long list of what they need. But I said, what is the most urgent need right now that I can help you with? And he said that there was a family that approached the orphanage. Could you help me? Mm -hmm. And the orphanage had to say no. So I said, hmm, tell them yes. Right. Our community, our studio, and the community at large in Ottawa, right. I'm sure we can help. What, what is... What's so fascinating about this particular case and why, why get involved in some, you know, uh, helping out someone so far away? It's a very good question because there's always so much need here. Right. So much needs uh, everywhere. And how do you decide? Yeah. Um, usually the opportunity knocks on your door and you have a choice either to say yes or no. Mm -hmm. We do help uh, local communities a lot on a regular basis and on a spur of the moment if we see the need. Part of the yoga practice is to seek out opportunities to help. Mm -hmm. It's not just to stretch your hamstrings, buttocks, and tone up your biceps, right. but to stretch your mind as well as the heart. You practice generosity. So mm -hmm. uh, you just keep your eyes open. Because we are associated with that uh, orphanage before, because one of our friends, one of our teachers is also going, mm -hmm. um, and I find that whenever we are going somewhere, we need to drop something, we need to leave something, we need to see if there is some help understood. opportunity. Yeah, understood, which, which makes sense, right, to, to a lot of people. Absolutely, and it's a question that just uh, touched my heart because they have a lot of needs. They, they need clothing, they need uh, some drugs for the kids, they need some uh, shelving and computers and so on and so forth. But when somebody is dying, a 17-year-old mm -hmm. kid is dying and the parents are desperately need the help, it catches you here, and I said, well, why not? Yeah. So how, what, what's your fundraiser going to entail next week? Uh, next week is just the tail end of our fundraise. It's going to be a yoga flow with live music. We're supporting a local band mm -hmm. uh, who's going to come and, and play for us. Mm -hmm. So we're going to sweat for it a little bit. Right. Uh, as you would. Yeah. As, <laughs> as we would. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is following uh, a Grand Bazaar that we have done uh, just this past uh, Saturday where we involve all kinds of uh, businesses, both in the Gleep and in Westboro, which was quite fun because we got to know a lot of people, their customers, our customers, right. and as a community, we made it happen, which is really nice. It's all going to take place next week at your studio, right? Yes. Uh, we in have two Gleep. locations, and we're doing it at the Gleep. Okay. Uh, all the funds are going to go to uh, the same cause. Uh -huh. So um, I would like to invite you all, okay. yourself included, all right. put some spandex on. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's something you don't want to see, really. And um, <laughs> we'll go with the flow. Right. Uh, and people can drop in, uh, get involved during the in. day, right? Uh, we still uh, get some donations if you want to chip in uh, a little bit more. It's just uh, not much. We're not asking uh, much. Uh, just a class uh, class price you can drop in uh, even if you haven't done yoga before we'll uh, just come and defend yourself we'll yeah. smile right. we'll flow right it's it's going to be a good time uh, you can find out more information about it at edishesha.com right that's correct yeah well good luck with it thank you very it's much. quite admirable if you're going to a foreign country you're going to help someone out while gonna, you're there, you know, being a part of your experience. You yeah. But I will come uh, to, I'll go to Nepal and meet the boy and the family 
and I'm hoping to bring lots of pictures. Well, that'd be great. That'd be great.